now on the Hampton Roadshow with a guest you may remember, Helen Elder, a mother of a Chesapeake Bay Academy student with an Asperger's diagnosis. She found a terrific resource with CBA's Diagnostic Assessment Program, and she is back today to tell us more about some strategies and interventions that she learned through the program. Helen, welcome back to the Hampton Roadshow. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so tell me, me, first off, how did the program help you out so much? Um, I had seen that even though we had some support in place for my son in the public school, that um, there were some learning difficulties, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes because kids with Asperger's are so verbal and so knowledgeable about so many things that sometimes when they have a learning difficulty, mm -hmm. it can go undetected. And they confirmed some weaknesses, and we've been able to focus on those and really get them up to speed. For those out there who perhaps probably have heard of Asperger's uh, syndrome. Explain what it is and what are some <laughs> of the signs for maybe even parents out there who recognize that in their own kids. Right. There actually are a lot of, I went into that a lot on the blog mm -hmm. um, at the school website and um, it's a really complex neurodevelopmental disability mm -hmm. and it's easy to um, learn about it. The, the books that talk about it are about this thick. Yeah. And, it's um, fairly complicated. Mm -hmm. You definitely want either a psychiatrist or um, a qualified psychologist mm -hmm. to diagnose them. And, um, but it's not uncommon to have parents recognize all the symptoms. And so it, usually a diagnosis is done by talking to the parent and getting that social history. Um, the undeveloped social cues mm -hmm. is a real key. Um, they tend to be about two-thirds behind in mm -hmm. terms of their um, de peers. And um, so I think the biggest thing is once you've got that diagnosis mm -hmm. to figure out, maintain your stress level and not yeah. get too worried about it and realize that it's just a different parenting journey. And mm -hmm. so to get the support in place for your child, do they need occupational therapy? Do mm -hmm. they need speech? And those are the two big reasons to get a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Other than that, just work to figure out where their weaknesses are and strengthen them up. Um, you really need to teach them things verbally. Mm -hmm. And so um, we use humor with my son, making it fun, but being careful to make sure that we're accurate okay. because he will grab onto facts and say, no, but you told me this. Mm -hmm. Well, I was just joking. <laughs> You're like, no. Um, so I've, I've known a lot of people who've gotten into trouble with that mm -hmm. where um, they, um, the little boy will say, well, I'll, if you'll pay me, I'll do that chore. And the teacher joked and said, sure, I'll pay you. And, and then he was like, where's that, that money? So, um, you know, just um, getting that support in place. And but, also, um, I know some of the tips on here, preparing a calm environment is probably very key yes. in the home. Yes. Explain that. What do, what do you um, do for your son? Well, he, we had to figure out his strengths. We, I have friends that have had sort of a sensory room where mm -hmm. they just have a quiet place. And I sort of watched him to see what he did to calm down. Mm -hmm. And he would line up quarters in a circle. And he didn't do this until he started a full day of school. And he, was just, he just seemed to need to have order somewhere. Okay. And so for him, it's drawing. Mm -hmm. And if he gets very stressed, we'll have him draw a picture, and they're very elaborate. And um, reading, reading also works. And if, with Chesapeake Bay Academy, they've been able to get him to do deep breathing, and so that helps a lot. But it was something that I was never successful in getting yeah. him to do. So it's definitely been a big resource for you and for your family. Right. Your son, you said, was diagnosed when he was six, and he's now 11. Right. What advice would you have out there to parents who are maybe just coming into realizing that their children suffer from Asperger's uh, syndrome? To find people who know more than you do, mm -hmm. and that's sometimes a challenge, but once you find them, um, I know that for us, we use the um, Joy of Acting class mm -hmm. in Yorktown, and we live in Chesapeake, so we would drive to Yorktown every Saturday because um, Charlene, who runs that program, is so knowledgeable in finding pediatricians and psychiatrists and psychologists, mm -hmm. and I will go to conferences. There are a lot of local conferences now, yeah. so the military does some, and the um, mm -hmm. The um, Independent Center does some. We do some clinics and stuff okay. at Chesapeake Bay Academy. So just, you know, they're doing a bullying series in mm -hmm. January, things like that. But 
just to find those experts. Like they say, and knowledge is power. Yeah. Definitely, Helen, thanks for coming on and yeah, of course sharing you. your story, helping somebody out there. Mm -hmm. Also, CBA Cafe is an event coming up on January 11, 2012. It's a bullying series, as you mentioned. You can always go to CBA Cafe at cba-va.org or you can give them a call 497-6200. For more information, you can also check out their academic blog, School of Thought, or give them a call. Visit them online. That's Chesapeake Bay Academy or www.cba-va.org or give them a call 497-6200. Helen, thanks so much. Thank you.